All right, well, I've gotten a lot of questions about how I do my paint. Uh, if you take a look at this, this isn't completely finished yet. I haven't finished doing the wax on it, but uh, that's pretty shiny. Uh, you can see the reflection of the uh, cup over here uh, with popsicle sticks in it, stuff like that. So uh, it's uh, pretty shiny. Um, it needs a couple more coats of wax on the, on the back. Uh, same thing with this side here. It's pretty shiny. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do this. So um, basically, we're going to start off from just a raw piece. So here we have just a raw cast. It's been fixed and trimmed. There's a small ding there. Some other things. But basically, what, what we're going to do is um, once we've gotten everything fixed on our cast piece, uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot it with some paint. Now, you can either do something like this or you can use a, a high-pressure, low-velocity gun, a HPLV gun. Um, kind of too much for, for a small piece like this but it, get, it shoots a lot of paint so um, basically I, let me just go ahead and sand or shoot this with paint real quick just to show you and go ahead and cover this so basically what we're doing is we're just uh, adding uh, two or three layers of paint primer wise so just um, first coat just goes on doesn't really matter, we're just trying to get initial coat. Um, so once that's done, you gotta let it dry, put another coat on, let, let it dry, put another coat on, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, so that's uh, that's that one there. So that's two or three layers of paint basically. So you do that one, once or twice more, just to get enough paint on there. So once that's done, uh, then we move on to uh, the actual painted piece and what I do, normally do is just sand it down. Now um, usually what I use is about uh, 800 to 1000 grit sandpaper. Um, so I, I just use the 3M uh, 1000 grit there as you can see. Um, and basically what we're trying to do is try and get the surface smooth enough uh, to apply our color coat, our final coat. So basically uh, we'd paint this uh, or sand it down uh, till it's smooth. Um, not too smooth because if you make it too smooth the paint won't stick um, or you'll get weird defects like it will start bubbling uh, in certain sections or whatnot because the adhesion between the paint layers isn't that great. So basically sanding it down uh, just to make it smooth enough and then adding a color coat. So for example I'd be using something like this. Uh, this is what I use for my Iron Man uh, face plates. It's a uh, Krylon Brilliant Gold. So uh, what we're going to do with that is we're actually going to do about two to th uh, three to four layers of actual paint uh, on this one here. Um, and that's just to um, make sure that there's enough paint on the, the, the prop that when we sand it, uh, we won't be blowing through the paint. So uh, if, if you haven't put enough paint on there or if you're sanding too hard, um, basically what you'll be doing is uh, blowing through back down to the primer, which means you have to repaint that, that section again. So... Um, so once the paint's done, we move on to this here. So once again, we do the same thing. Um, basically, we just uh, add the color coat, and then you can kind of see, I don't know if you can or not, there's a little bit of orange peel, um, basically meaning that the, the paint uh, didn't lay flat. It's got a little bit of bumps and, and, and ridges in it. So what you have to do is wet sand it once again. So normally what I do is I go and I start with uh, 1,000 grit and then just go through the whole thing to kind of even it all out. Um, and then once it's evened out, then shoot a clear coat on top of it. Now with a clear coat, you want to do about, uh, I, I usually do about four or five layers of clear coat on top of this, um, just because it adds more depth to the paint. Um, and when you do it with, um, when you have the clear coat, you start off with a thousand grit, for the first, uh, you know, for the first sand down, and w when you're wetting it down, you kind of want to make a take a look and see. Um, let me see if I can show you on this one. I think this one's almost pretty much finished. No, let me show you. Okay, so when you're wet sanding, you'll get some areas like I don't know if you can see inside there. Um, it's a little bit glossy looking still. It should be kind of a more matte finish when you're when you're sanding it. So as I said, the first layer would be thousand grit go over it um, with the clear. And then once all your little you know, spots are, are taken care of, then you can go over it with the 2000 grit. Now the 2000 grit um, will basically just give you like a polish. 
So the the paint will still look kind of matte finish looking like it does here. Um, see how it's not glossy like this here? It's just kind of flat. Um, now that's going to be normal until you put wax onto it. And usually what I do is I use a, a scratch and swirl remover type uh, wax for the first coat. Um, polishing compound. Um, basically what I do is I uh, go over that first after about you know two or three rounds of, of the 2000 grit. Um, and just kind of rub it in uh, with a wet damp cloth and then uh, just kind of buff the whole thing out. And then I'll do another layer on top of that and then I'll actually use another wax on top of that and a Caribbean wax or something similar to that. So, um, and that's what allows me to get uh, the nice glossy finish. So, um, if you guys have any questions, uh, I know it's kind of a hard for me to explain it without actually doing it, but if there's any questions, let me know, guys, because, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while now and um, especially more recently. So it's, it's pretty, pretty fresh in my mind. So but anyways, uh, leave the comments down below if you have any questions. Um, and as always, guys, subscribe, like and, and always do your thing. Thanks.